practicing the biblical principles of the Catholic faith and manifesting the truth of the Lord Jesus Christ, this is Receiving the Word with Father Todd Braggs. Wherefore, lay apart all filthiness and every expression of wickedness, and receive with meekness the engrafted Word which is able to save your souls. Good morning, my dear brothers and sisters. Today, the Church liturgically celebrates the 22nd Sunday after Trinity. And I am basing my sermon upon the Gospel appointed for today, coming to us from the 18th chapter of the Gospel of St. Matthew, which I will read to you right now. Peter said unto Jesus, Lord, how oft shall my brother sin against me, and I forgive him? Till seven times? Jesus saith unto him, I say not unto thee until seven times, but until seventy times seven. Therefore is the kingdom of heaven likened unto a certain king, which would take account of each of his servants. And when he had begun to reckon, one was brought unto him which owed him ten thousand talents. But for as much as he had not to pay, his Lord commanded him to be sold, and his wife, and his children, and all that he had, and a payment to be made. The servant therefore fell down and worshipped him, saying, Lord, have patience with me, and I will pay thee all. Then the Lord of that servant was moved with compassion, and loosed him and forgave him the debt. But this same servant went out and found one of his fellow servants, which owed him one hundred pence. And he laid hands on him and took him by the throat, saying, Pay me that thou owest. And his fellow servant fell down at his feet and besought him, saying, Have patience with me, and I will pay thee all. And he would not but went out and cast into prison till he should pay the debt. And when his fellow servants saw what was done, they were very sorry and came and told unto their Lord all that was done. Then his Lord, after that, he had called unto him and said unto him, O thou wicked servant, I forgave thee all that debt because thou desirest me. Shouldest not also have had compassion on thy fellow servant, even as I had compassion on thee? And his Lord was wroth, and delivered him to his tormentors, till he should pay all that was due unto him. So likewise shall my heavenly Father do also unto you, if ye from your hearts forgive not every one his brother, their trespasses. Here endeth the gospel. Praise be to thee, O Christ. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, my dear friends in our Lord Jesus Christ. In this 18th chapter of the gospel of St. Matthew, St. Matthew is telling us about a conversation between our blessed Lord and St. Peter. And the subject of this particular conversation happened to be forgiveness. And St. Peter being St. Peter, he tried to impress our blessed Lord. And so he asked our Lord, he stated, Lord, how oft should I forgive my brothers? Till seven times? Our Lord immediately responded and stated, No, St. Peter, not seven times, but seventy times seven times. And then immediately, our Lord went in and told a parable, a parable of the king who was taking a reckoning of how much he was owed by each of his servants. 
And in this parable, one servant was brought before the king that owed an astronomical amount. He owed the king some 10,000 talents, our Lord stated. Now, bear in mind to put things into context, one talent would be the equivalent of 750 ounces of silver. And by my calculations and research of what I did this week in preparation for my sermon, I discovered 750 ounces today would be the equivalent of $16,125. That would be the equivalent of one talent. This man owed 10,000 talents to the king. That being said, when the servant who owed that astronomical amount, when he went to his king, he said, King, please, I don't have that, but if you'll just show me some mercy, give me some time, I'll repay you everything. Well, he must have been a fine talker because the king, after he heard that, he had compassion and he forgave this man the debt, this astronomical figure, and sent him on his way. But this same man, who was just shown so much mercy, was shown so much compassion, was shown so much favor by the king, this same man went out and found one of his fellow servants who owed him a hundred pence, uh, just a mere fraction of what he owed. And he demanded payment. And when that servant gave the same speech and said the same words as he, the other man, had stated before the king, this man refused to show compassion. And as a result, he had his fellow servant thrown into prison. When the king heard this, when the king was told what happened, he called the first servant back in, the one that he had forgiven such an astronomical amount. And he stated, I heard what you did. I heard that after I showed you so much compassion, you refused to show compassion yourself. So you yourself are going to be thrown into prison as well. Our blessed Lord stated, if we, you and I, if we refuse to show compassion as God has shown compassion to us, God will not show compassion on us. This is why St. Why Peter was told this parable, because our Lord was trying to emphasize the importance of forgiveness. Because bear in mind, dear friends, let's lay all of our cards on the table right now. Each one of us, myself, you that are watching this video, each one of us, through the course of our lifetimes, have done an awful lot to be forgiven for. We've done an awful lot of wrongs. We've wronged others around us. We've wronged ourselves. We've done evil in the sight of God. And God sent his only son into the world to save each of us from our sins because he took the burden, the great weight of our sins upon his blessed shoulders and carried them to that precious hill Calvary and died on the cross for each of us to save us from our sins. Our Lord himself, again, even hanging on that same cross, forgave those who placed him there. And so again, if God is willing to forgive, if our blessed Lord is willing to forgive, certainly, we are expected ourselves, following in the footsteps of our blessed Savior, 
we are called to forgive as well. This is why, again, earlier in St. Matthew's Gospel, in the 6th chapter, this time the 12th verse, our Lord, again, is explaining the perfect prayer that we should pray, which, of course, has been come to known over time as the Lord's Prayer or the Our Father. And in that prayer, dear friends, we know very well, because in that prayer it states, in part, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And then our blessed Lord went on when he had finished the prayer, the perfect prayer, he went on to explain the importance of forgiving those who have wronged us. Because two verses later in verse 14, our blessed Lord stated, For if ye forgive men their trespasses, your heavenly Father also will forgive you. But if ye forgive not men their trespasses, neither will your Father forgive your trespasses. You see, dear friends, how in the world can we go to God? How can we go to God in prayer? How can we go to our Heavenly Father and implore Him to please forgive me, forgive me for what I've wronged you and how I've wronged you, blessed Savior, and yet turn right around and refuse to forgive those who have forgiven us or have wronged us, I should say, rather, excuse me. You see, dear friends, it's very difficult to show forgiveness to those who have done wrong to us, to those who have belittled us, to those who have smeared us, to those who have stolen from us, to those who have wronged us in any way. It's difficult to forgive them. And yet, that is exactly, precisely what God wants us to do. To forgive those who have done wrong to us. This is why St. Paul writes in the Colossians chapter 3, verse 13. St. Paul states, Forbearing one another and forgiving one another. If any man have a quarrel against any, even as Christ forgave you, so also do ye. How can we ask God to show compassion on us when we ourselves are not willing to show compassion to one another? This is the point that St. Paul is making. And again in Ephesians chapter 4, verse 32, 32 excuse me. And be ye kind one to another, even as God, for Christ's sake, hath forgiven you. Our blessed Lord has forgiven us, dear friends. Our blessed Lord has forgiven our sins. We are called to do that to one another, to forgive those who have wronged us as well, because this is showing compassion. Even from the cross, our blessed Lord forgave those who placed him there. We should do our best to forgive those who have wronged us because God hath forgiven us as well. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, God bless you, dear friends. Let me take just an extra moment or so to remind all of you that should you want to get in touch with receiving the Word, we'd be delighted to hear from you. Here's our website, www.encouragementfortoday.com. That's www.encouragementfortoday.com. Or write us at 829 Northeast Chester Avenue, Topeka, Kansas, 66616. 
that's 829 Northeast Chester Avenue, Topeka, Kansas 66616. Knowing what a big difference encouragement makes in a person's life, you will not only find Father Todd's Sunday sermons, but also other assorted podcasts, audios, and devotional blogs that will be a help in your faithful walk with the Lord. And that will help you take heart when the going gets tough and the way feels long. I'm Father Francis Dominic, and on behalf of Father Todd Braggs and receiving the word, thanks for listening.